Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today is a Dark Souls 2 video and I know a lot of you will love this one, especially if you're a Dark Souls 2 fan. So today is July 18th and a patch rolled out for Dark Souls 2 fixing pretty much all the damage stuff and it's an amazing patch in my opinion. I was playing around with a lot of damage output and they did really well. But along with this patch they added a bunch of new code. I was looking through this code and I found out they added all the DLC items for the first DLC which is rolling out soon. The DLC is also known as Crown of the Sunken King, which will be, again, the first DLC rolling out for $10. And I have everything in it, or at least for now, because there will be a patch on the DLC day, just patching the DLC. I don't know if they'll add any more items, but I know they will change probably damage outputs and stuff like that. That's why there is no damage testing in this video. But nonetheless, let's just get right into it and show you everything that for now is 100% in the DLC or will most likely show up in the DLC. So we're going to start with the rings and just get those out of the way. So we have a Thunder Quartz ring plus 3. This will boost your lightning defense. And now we have a Dark Quartz ring plus 3, which will boost dark defense. And one thing to note is this DLC is pretty much based around dark and lightning. Pretty much the entire DLC is based around those two things. Flynn's ring right here will actually... Lowering equip load will increase your physical attack. So the lower your equip load, the lord, ah, oh, smooth. The lower your equip load, the higher your physical attack will become. Uh, also, with that is Yorg's ring, which is a very weird ring. Sometimes deflects spells. I I don't know. I think this might be a defective item because when you rest at the bonfire, it breaks. So, I, but it doesn't really break. It, it's really weird. I think this might end up being a defective item that is thrown out, but. Not 100% on that right now. Next, we will go through armor. I have our armor equipped right now, but this is just because it's the coolest looking armor, and it's awesome, but we'll go through that later. We'll actually go through the consumables right now. So we have Soul of the Sin, the Slumbering Dragon. So I'll cover over it, and I will show you the description. You can pause and read it. I'm not going to read it out loud. This soul, when consumed, will give you 18k. Next, we have Soul of Alana, the Squandled Queen. This will give you 30k when consumed, and you see it also has the same looking icon as Nishandra, which is interesting. So we know this will be a dark enemy. It's probably another piece of madness. It is pretty awesome. It is a really awesome looking thing, and 30k souls isn't bad. Right now, both uh, aren't tradable with the uh, Crow Blacksmith nor Strayed, so keep that in mind. We also have Bright Bug, which... Uh, I'll just hover over it. When used, you inflict more damage and receive less damage, but you can only use it in your own world, not as a phantom. Uh, the Golden Fruit Belm temporarily increases faith, and I've used it. In, it increases your faith by 5. So my faith right here, instead of being 65, will raise to 70. Next, we will go through all the armors. Let's just take all this off. So we have the Sanctum uh, Pristus tiara it looks really ugly <laughs> it is not pretty at all but you know and we have the crown of the sunken king which i think you will be ret retrieved at the end of the dlc but it lowers vigor by one increases endurance by one lowers vit by one increases strength and dex by one and increases both faith and intelligence by one so it is a very weird crown but hey whatever next we have the sanctum night helm and there are two gauntlets either the soldier gauntlet or the knight gauntlet and the feet. It is an okay looking set in my opinion. Uh, not the best, but these are f actually the set of an enemy, the new enemy in the game, which is pretty awesome. But my favorite set still remains the Drake Blood. Uh, but we also have a flower skirt. <laughs> it's a bit weird, but hey, it's a skirt, whatever. Next, we will go through the weapons. So, first, we have the Puzzling Stone Sword. It requires seven strength, six dex, and has an S in dex scaling and it is such a cool sword so the normal one-handed is a normal sword nothing too special it looks really funky but you know uh, the two-handed is also a normal sword nothing funky but the one-handed strong is a whip <laughs> yeah there's that and the two-handed strong is a whip and it has a funky spinning move it is awesome uh, <laughs> next we have the Drake blood greatsword you need 20 strength, 18 dex, and it has a A in dex scaling, so still really good. The moveset is quite normal all around, but uh, nonetheless, I'll still show it to you. But, uh, you know, and it looks pretty cool. It's pretty standard, 
So, you know, there's that. Next is the Sanctum Mace. This thing, every time you swing, you poison yourself. So a strong attack is a mace. A two-handed is a mace. Uh, or, I mean, a one-handed strong attack is a mace. Two-handing it, strong hand, is a spin to win. And a one-hand, or a two-handed strong attack is... Oh, whoops, I didn't mean that. That's what we just did. <laughs> a a two-handed normal is a lance. So, next we have the Yorg Spear. Now, the one-handed weak is a lance. The one-handed strong is a spear. The two-handed weak is a lance. And the two-handed strong is a spin win <laughs> There's that. Um, let me go back one. This, you need 35 strength and 6 dex. I forgot to <laughs> do that. And it has a B in strength scaling. This has, you need 30 strength and 25 dex. And it has a B in dex scaling. The Wrathful Axe, you need 20 strength, 22 dex, and 28 faith, and has a B in strength. The one-handed, it's it's actually just a halberd all around. I don't have to, don't have to <laughs> do much of that. It's just a halberd everywhere. Next, we have the Sanctum Crossbow, which is just a crossbow. <laughs> it has a uh, C in dark, and you need 10 faith, 10 int, 4 dex, and 13 strength. The Sanctum Repeating Crossbow, which is a very generic name, it's just another Avalon. It needs 20 strength, 15 dex, 10 inth, and 10 faith. And it's just a repeating. It's ju it's just an Avalon, pretty much. Um, next is the Sanctum Shield. Let me put it on the right hand. Uh, so right here, it casts everything but, f uh, everything but Pyromancy. So that's the uniqueness of it, but you need uh, 6 strength, 7 dex, 18 faith, 18 inth, and has a C across the board for every element. So yeah, cast everything but uh, pyromancy. Now let's go through the magic. Denial is pretty much second chance, a nerfed, a nerfed second chance from Demon Souls. So while this is on, once I reach 0 health, I will glow, and then I have a chance to survive. It's, it's a bit... It's, <laughs> it is a bit weird. I will give you an example while using the Sanctum Mace. Bam! Poisoned. So I'm just going to keep poisoning myself until I go down, but I'll still go through the other spells. So, uh, Focus Souls. It is very cool, actually. Ready? Ready? Makes a circle, and yeah, okay, strong. <laughs> I should probably turn off my graphics mod right now. This, These are not hacks here, just so you guys know. This is just graphic mod. Um, there you go. That's that's how it looks. Next we have Promised. Uh, oh, maybe I should poison myself again. I might actually die, though, from the poison. That's the problem. <laughs> because I, I might need to actually go get something to attack me. But, so you'll see. Bam. See, I still died because poison was still happening. But what would happen is that you see when that light, hap when that light appears, my health will just stay at zero. So if someone gets you to zero health, that will pew, and you have zero health, and you can roll away and try to heal. But uh, that's all. That's all it'll do. And let me just quickly run back and grab my souls. We okay. So uh, promise walk of peace. It is just tranquil walk of peace from uh, Dark Souls one, but it also is nerfed. So you also actually become slow. Everyone becomes slow. That's the thing about it. And last is Dark Great Sword, which is like. The magic greatsword, but it also fires a laser beam, and right now it is ridiculously overpowered. I did damage testing, but I think the patch on day one might fix it, but uh, who knows? Who knows? And that actually covers everything in the DLC. It is pretty awesome. The uh, Crown of the Sunken King DLC, which is coming out very soon, will for only ten dollars. It does add quite a bit, in my opinion. And, I don't know, I, I'm going to definitely buy the DLC. I will get rid of all this that are in my game. I'll poof, I'll disappear of them. I just wanted to do a showcase. I will buy the DLC myself and get all this legit. I just thought it was really cool looking through it. And that just sums up this video. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you did, hit that like button. And remember to subscribe. And until next time, peace out. Yeah.